in our kind of society, we can, can control education to a much greater extent than we can enclose our economy. Correcting a fundamental mistake. In other words, since the crawling peg devaluation of 19, of, that began in 1978, 77-78, which has led, which has gone on with a massive devaluation of the Jamaican dollar. The remedy that has been proposed by succeeding governments is that they're going to fix the economy and then fix education. And I regard it as a fundamental mistake. Because our economies are open and vulnerable to the to, to, to political economy in the world. We don't set the terms of trade. We don't have the military might to impose our will. And in addition, we are subject to earthquakes, hurricanes, volcanoes. We can produce far more talent than our economies can absorb because we are always get, being set back by the terms of trade and by what people call acts of God. Education, therefore, is key. Cannot be subject to that because it is key to how we advance in the world, especially in a world in which it is now an information society, in which the level of education of the society is, is a comparative advantage. So I'm saying that we, are, we now have a, a, a great opportunity. And, and I'm, I'm saying, that I'm giving an illustration of how this, for example, has contributed to all kind of, including distrust between the government and the people. And I'm referring to things that both PNP and JLP governments have done in agreement. For example, when the crawling peg in the evaluation started to have its big effect in the night, and, and the, the, the JTA came up with the idea that the government and proposed that the government introduce an education tax to make to make up for the difference. Hmm? Since the public purse could not afford it on the taxation base. What they did was not to index education, the, the, the government contribution to education, but to make it a part of the consolidated fund. So what went into the fund, so all it did was subsidize debt payment and destroy it. The, the other one is take UTEC. UTEC was made a, a university. Cast has has been a very outstanding technological institution that has served the whole Caribbean. Everybody's talking about STEM. But the Ministry of Education and the government have passed all the laws making it a university, but has never changed the financing of the institution, the basis of financing the institution. Therefore, CAS students now pay a higher proportion of the economic cost than any other group. And this is where we are talking about STEM, science, technology, to advance the country. And where, for example, UTEC is the only institution, that this institution at the tertiary level, that at the highest level of male enrollment. Oh, so, when I hear people talking about STEM, can I really believe that they mean that? In recently, government wants to take away all of the funds that people volunteer to assist schools, which are protected under the law. And nobody has thought through that if Thames, it's not only illegal to do it, but it if, if, even if it succeeded in this illegal activity, what would it do 
to the system because who is going to contribute to raising monies to, to improve their school? If it is going into the consolidated fund in which what goes in and how it comes up and what it is in by not connected. So we have an opportunity to, 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 to stop those things that are and, and stop doing things. What is the opportunity? The opportunity is that both the PNP and the JNP are now following a different strategy, which is a different strategy. It is to tackle the problem of debt. The PNP took, the, took some rash measures last the government. The JLP has continued it, but they are paying down the debt. There is nothing more important than paying down the debt because debt is the matter that has been problematic for the education system. If, that, if, if the monies that come from that are invested in education, then we have a chance to come out of it.